In this video, I'm going to show you a simple tip that's going to help you to create finer lines using your airbrush. Let's get into it right now. So if you want to create fine lines, you've got to be up close and just pull back a little bit and then move with the stroke. All right, so reasonably easy to do once you practice for quite some time, you'll be able to get nice straight lines without spidering out. But what can I do to get that line so much easier? And the key really lies at the front of this airbrush and pretty much all airbrushes will be the same unless they run what's called a paint picker cap, which I remember the old Pash airbrushes used to run that or Pache, whichever one you want to say it. But by removing this air cap, you can see I've got a bit of tip drying there and you can pick that off carefully with your fingernail. If you want a safer method, get a bit of paper towel squirt a bit of airbrush cleaner on there and then using that push your needle carefully into the paper towel and that's going to remove and clean the nozzle and if you've got any debris on there it'll take it off and without damaging your needle you can definitely also use a q-tip or a cotton bud just to remove that so when you remove that air cap not only do you have easier access to the tip drying which happens regularly with an airbrush you also can create finer detail so you can create your finer lines by doing so, by just removing that air cap. The other handy thing is you have a nice line of sight, but you can also get up closer to the surface and then keep the air on and just pull back. And you can see I'm getting a much finer line from that same needle nozzle setup. And this is a 0.3 mil. even do fine dots no problem but finer detail in general is so much easier when you've taken that air cap off and you can do this for all of your brushes even your ones with the finer nozzles are still going to perform even better when you remove that air cap. You can see now if I just compare and screw that air cap back on, you can see this has got like the crown cap, which is good because it gives you access. But you can see how it obstructs you from getting up super close because you've got that air cap in the way. So now I can't get up close enough to do those real fine lines. That's probably as fine as I can go. There you go. And I also can't see where I'm going, so it's obstructing my line of sight. Whereas when I remove it, I can exactly see where the needle is and I've just got a much easier way of creating those real fine lines. One thing that you've obviously got to remember is that when you are working with the air cap off, there's nothing protecting the needle. So that's what that nozzle does, or needle cap as they're also known, so that if you drop it, it protects the needle in the nozzle. So for obvious reasons, when you are using your airbrush without that needle cap or the nozzle, make sure that you sit it back in your holder like so. And I like using this part so that if you do happen to trip over the lead, it's not going to pull out on you. Whereas if you sit it in here, not only is that dangerous with the needle exposed, but if I now pull on this, it's gonna fall out, all right? So just sit it in there when you're finished. The other thing I like using are these little rubber caps. So when you're finished airbrushing, you can just pop them back over and then that's also gonna protect your needle if you do drop your airbrush. A few other things that'll definitely help you create finer detail and lines is thinning your paint out more. So you can see here this indigo blue, I've pre-mixed it at 70% reducer, 30% paint. And that's the one I just used to demo. And then the other good thing is when you are running your paint super thin, you can then run at about 20 PSI and and that'll give you nice fine detail as well. So if you over thin your paint, you can turn your PSI down. If you're running thicker paint, then I would be painting more at the 30 PSI range. You can see with this brush, it runs the MAC valve. So you can wind the MAC valve in to lower the pressure or wind it out to increase the pressure. So you can really dial it in. And if you over thin your paint, it's gonna allow for even finer detail. So you can just pick 
what works best for you. So to continue your learning, be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.